So it's good afternoon. I am Gunnar from Master Against Guru. So one thing is that as you, when you started your first uh, match against in the ISL, that time also that you have don't have, didn't have really too much actual information about your opponent. Now also Hyderabad, lot of changes in the team. So the new new uh, team I, I, I can say. So how difficult would be to actually to play against them when you don't know are your opponents too much actually? Yeah, you know it happens sometimes that uh, so we have to be prepared for everything and also the more the most important thing is that we work in ourselves eh, to to know how we want to play and which tactics we want to use. And about that I'm happy. I'm happy because we were really arriving to the to the spaces. Eh, we were arriving a lot of times to the empty spaces eh, with uh, and an issue on one side with uh, Mandar, Maes on the other side, we were creating the crosses, we were creating the chances. So it's, it's um, something that we have been working on and, and it was happening in the match. So at the end, you know that all the opponents are going to make things difficult, uh, but uh, we're doing the, the work to, to win the game. Shubhujit, you can ask your question. Good morning, Guru. I am Sorry, good afternoon. I am Shubhujit from Ananda Bajaj. Uh, against Jamshedpur, the last 15 minutes of first half, we played a wonderful football. But what went wrong in the second half, first question, and the second is what we have learned from this match? Yes, yeah, you know, uh, always I talk with my players that we have to read the momentum of the match. And any match, there is different moments. Right? There is the moment that you are feeling better, there is a moment that maybe they arrive one time, they create one corner, they put you in the box during five minutes, so then it's another moment. Later on there is a moment that maybe you create something good and you know, you get new energy, you, you get uh, a new mental moment and you put them in the box. So I totally agree with you. Uh, we have been analyzing the match and we, we showed to the players yesterday the video and the last 50 minutes of the first half it was terrific football. It was a moment that we, we should score the goal. So we created the chances for that. But a lot of times it's just a, a, a sparky moment, you know what I mean? A moment of uh, um, quality that gets the first goal, or a moment of luck. Eh? It was also one moment very clear, just starting in the second half, that uh, it was a very clear penalty uh, with handball inside of the Jackson Pool box. So then if you get the penalty, you, you score the first goal, and it's a different moment. What I mean is that a lot of times, the first games of the season, it's, you know, the two teams Mm, close, eh, trying to get clean sheet and, and uh, trying to capitalize one opportunity and I think that in that game we were the ones the very close to capitalize that, that opportunity. We were unlucky. I, I don't know, <laughs> again I'm sorry about that, eh, but uh, referees, referees. Everybody can see that the referees is making his big, his body big, he's jumping with the two hands like this, so he's making big space, so it's clear penalty. It's, it's not about voluntary, voluntary, it's very clear how the rules are, and it's very clear that he is trying to make his body big to avoid a dangerous situation. So, handball inside of the box, penalty, 100 times in 100 chances like this, it's going to be penalty, so I don't know what these guys are doing. Uh, hi, Carlos. Uh, uh, good afternoon. Uh, do, uh, you had a game with Hyderabad FC in practice match. Uh, uh, does that help uh, in tomorrow's match? Uh, it's, it's always good eh, to, to, to see the other team in a friendly, but of course, a friendly situation is very different. And they have been also getting uh, new players, eh, like the, the foreigner eh, from, from Mexico that he was playing in Spain, we know him. So, yeah, I mean, uh, we have to
to be a very for a close game. Eh, either about always have been having that kind of results, 0-0, eh, 1-0, zero, 0-1, zero, zero, they, they are putting that. So we have to be mentally ready for that. Coach, I'm Shandhya Medikali from ETB Bharat. Your team is creating so many chances, but the convert, the convert jump, uh, rate of convert is very poor. What is the reason behind it? And there is so many former Hyderabad FC player, is it an easy, easy uh, advantage? Yeah, I'm, I'm not agree that the conversion rate is poor. Uh, the important thing is to arrive to, the, to create the chances and then uh, you know, uh, all the forwards in the world, all the, all the players have different moments. Eh? This moment that you have a good connection with the ball, then eh, there is some games that you are not scoring, then you are scoring again. So it's, it's normal in the life of the forwards. Eh? So not a problem. It happens with Lewandowski, it happens with Harry Kane, it happens with any forward in the world that you arrive and you 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 are in a dynamic that you, every ball that you touch is gold, or sometimes you are in another kind of dynamic, but the important thing is to create the chances and the team is creating the chances. Hi coach, I'm Shrovan Ramani. Say the former players, is in your team, it is an advantage for your team? It always helps right? that they know something about the, the opponent, so yes, it's good that we have some players that can give us some information, but at the end, new season, new team, new, new transfer, so yeah, it, 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 it doesn't mean a, a great thing for us, it's just, you know, we always talk about little, small details, so in that side, it always helps to have the information of players who have been in the other club before. Good afternoon, coach. I am Shobhudu Amri from Bartama Pochita. Coach, Hyderabad never lost to East Bengal in the ISC. So how do you see that stat? Do you think you can turn the table this time? Yeah, yeah, you know, I love numbers, but in that case, numbers doesn't help because we are a full new project with a lot of new players. I think that from a season only, Maesh is going to, to start the game. So it's completely a different statistic. Questions for Nanda? You can go ahead. Nanda, you can ask a question. Hi, Coach. This is Mutan from Mount Scott. Coach, Jamshedpur FC, you just, uh, which game you have played, and this is Hyderabad. Both teams are very different. In, on paper or in their uh, strategy and everything. So in uh, Jamshedpur, uh, there was a subtle kind of a play and you have to play another kind, definitely we think of that. But uh, what is your thought, because uh, this is your home game, but your opponent is Hyderabad and you already played a friendly match with them. So will you grow aggressive, because in first match we didn't see Clayton Silva in, from beginning. So, will you go for aggressive football or it will be uh, better one than three? This will be the in your, in your uh, mind. Well, I think that we are doing a style of football that it's uh, nice to watch. I mean, when we get the good combinations, so I think that we are creating some nice actions and we are arriving with people to the box and I think that people uh, is, enjoy, is enjoying the way we are playing football. It was a very good Durant Cup and also it was for, uh, for some moments of the game a very nice first Indian Super League match. So I'm happy, very happy with how the things are going. And uh, about Clayton, he's getting ready to play. He's uh, getting more minutes and he, uh, every week that we are spending working together, he's getting more fit for the, for the games. One more thing, just when will you get your uh, new defender? Yeah, he's coming tomorrow. He's coming tomorrow. Coach, uh, coach, this side. This is Prashun from Shambhad Have you any really change in your first level from the last match? If I were to change it? No, no, I just ask you. You want any to know? <laughs> <laughs> or, or any injury updates? Or? A date? No. 
we are uh, full, full squad ready for the match. Uh, same question to both of you because it is related in the playing style actually. As in the first match actually you missed Jordan and also that uh, Rajiv Munga because he is serving in the Indian team that time. And now that uh, uh, I, I, without them actually you perform much better, much better. So what kind of confidence you are getting <coughs> in the team without them now actually that uh, maybe some addition will be there afterwards. And for Nanda also saying that when you play without them, so as a as a goal, though you have a you have a goal scoring ability, so do you think that with, with Mahesh actually you have some kind of that exchange of the flags, everything which was not working properly that day? So what do you think is that that uh, what kind of confidence you are getting from the first pass man? Okay. I prefer that Nanda starts to answer so I can know the confidence of Nanda and then I can talk about that. starting early so you know we have played a lot of competitive matches a lot of friendlies so personally from a player's point of view how much do you think is this helping us you know and also how much is this helping us going forward because the ICL has started early obviously this time yeah it's good uh, because uh, ISL is starting early uh, we played a lot of games in the Duran Cup also so we can see everyone is ready to play even youngsters everyone is excited uh, so uh, most important is uh, now is uh, this, uh, game is coming. So the next game is winning. Uh, we are uh, in the training also. We are uh, working a lot, everyone. So now we have uh, we get three points and uh, working on winning ways. Hi, coach. Uh, 
I have a question which is not specifically connected to for tomorrow with tomorrow's game, but it's connected with East Bengal future. Um, uh, you, every other team, uh, in case of Jamshedpur also, they played their under-23 player uh, Sanan Mohammad who played uh, well, and uh, you are uh, you also have uh, many under-22 players, and um, you are calling uh, Vishnu, Mohitosh, and. Uh, uh, Jason in the practice sessions and do you have any plans with them in this uh, for this season and the status of Aman um, uh, as he is injured now and my second part is of the question is, uh, is we, we have heard that is Bengal is associated with a, a data science company called Sports Data Campus can you enlighten uh, a bit uh, with that uh, company how they are going to help is Bengal uh, in the uh, total system Okay, I start from the first question. Uh, as you know, I, I am new in the club. We have a two years uh, contract, so it means that we want to try to build something. And of course, young players are important. I want to build something for the future. So there is two different things. One thing is that we have to have some deeper pan, deeper tam, deeper tamital, deeper tamital, no? because the Departmental, no? When, when they, the youngers that we have to have in the squad, it's called departmental. Yeah. It's uh, under 22, eh? it's not under 23. It means that there is only a few ones that can be in that list, that now they are in the, in the meeting, only a few ones. So that's the reason because we put in the list uh, the young keepers and also uh, Amana and Mashe, because not all the players in the team can be in the list because of the uh, date of birth. This is one thing. The other thing is that uh, we have to understand that there is a big, big gap between the Kakuta League and the Indian Super League. It's a very, very big gap and it's not easy to make that step. So I was promoting, uh, in, in, in my moment in Bengaluru, I was promoting Suresh, I was promoting Roshan, I was promoting Parag, some players that now they are in the first eleven eh, in in uh, in the Super League uh, teams, but it was you know in the right moment in the right circumstances. So we have to understand that. Eh? I I am a person who take a look to the young talents because I think that uh, if you give them the right chances in the right moment, they can become professionals. But still, they are very far away to be professionals. They are only you know. Uh, being part of training sessions, being part of games that are not so exposure like the game in Indian Super League, so it takes some time. Say that, I'm very happy with the, the club structure and what they are doing eh? to, to scouting young talents eh? like Vishnu, which was here only for the last month, eh? he arrives from, from Kerala only one month ago, so it's, it takes time. Eh? I also bring uh, two or three players from the Indian under-17 national team, so it's, we cannot pretend that they are performing as a professional players just in one month too much. Eh? It takes some time, but I think that the club is in a good direction about that. The second question I didn't understand. Sport data campus, uh, data science company, is associated with uh, uh, Ah, okay, sorry. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 a university in Barcelona, I in Spain, yeah, mostly a mostly a university that I have been in relation with them for the last five years, making as a, as a professor, as a teacher, making some some lessons uh, to the to the masters in the university. So they have that promotion uh, that uh, we have signed a, a contract with them that we can use two uh, data analysts. So they are not video analysts, they are data analysts. It means that they take all the details of the games and they help us to understand what's going on eh, about uh, numbers in the, in the games. So it's very, it's very useful for us. It, it helps us eh, to understand all the little details. For example, eh, just to, to answer the question, uh, about expect goals and concede goals as much, uh, it should be uh, a game very clearly for us. Uh, we, we have 0.8 expected goals, so it means that with the chances that we create, we should score minimum 
0 0.8, so it means like one goal. And with the guy, chances that we create. And the other team, they got uh, 0 0.3 uh, conceded goals. That it means that they were not really having clear chances to score. So these details help, you know, to also to explain to the players what's going on on the pitch. Thank you. Coach, we'll take the last two questions. So, should we do that? Coach, uh, Istanbul did well in the Durant Cup. So, what is your goal in the ISL? Is it top six or to be champion? So, so the English? Istanbul did well in the Durant Cup, though team champion. But what is your goal in the ISL? Yeah, you know, uh, Durant Cup is a very different competition than in the Super League. Eh? If you see the budgets of the team in, in the Super League, eh? it is full of teams with a lot of powerful budgets and and they were not competing in the Durant Cup, so we don't have to lie to ourselves, we have to be realistic. We are new in the competition as a team. I mean, uh, we are doing lineups with a completely full uh, new uh, squad, and also me as a coach, I'm new in the club, so we have to, to, to get used in the competition and to try to be competitive. I remember very well my first match as head coach in Bengaluru. It was uh, a game 0 0 0 0 with Chennai, and at the last moment we scored, we could score one goal. Uh, we won the game 1 0, so it was the starting to win something. So here is the same. I mean, we won one point from the last game. We have to try to fight for the three points tomorrow, one. Step by step, we have to build something to believe that we are going to be competitive in the, in the league. Last one. Yeah, hi. A question for Nanda. Uh, tomorrow's match will be a southern derby for you. So, would you like to set any personal target? Yeah, we are prepared really well. Even players also, everyone is uh, excited. So, tomorrow is the most important game because uh, we will get three points. So, uh, even uh, we have to, yeah, everyone is ready. So ready to the play, play the match, so uh, most important is uh, three points, so that's it. No I hope that, uh, that, that there is nothing strange with the flags, like the last time that he went with the national team. Uh, <laughs> I hope that the uh, Federation is taking care of him to, to bring him back on that. Okay, thank you everyone. Thank you, coach. Thank, thank you. you.